Nottingham. I know, we've been here for seven years. So many great memories. Do you remember the time in year four when we went in our bank and had to entertain each other? And all those other trips too, like the workhouse, the game ball. And your voices, that was amazing, like being a pop star. And Monkey Boy at the Royal Hall with all the children who came over from the hall. Yeah, we've done loads of other pop stuff in school too, like the Christmas fair, the fair. I remember the Queen Jubilee and we had a party in the playground. And the Queen and a lady in waiting mm -hmm. gown. Except it was Miss Baldini and Miss Parker. Remember to do this itinerary and we had to dress up and act like it wouldn't be. And I put ink all over my hands and paper and had to go in the corner with a dunce at me. And of course King's Word. Oh, we've had some yeah, great times. Yeah. We've had some great times in the past seven years. We've had some years already. November 2020, back to school to four months of no school and then the summer holidays. I was so glad to be back to see everyone. Me too. Me too. The first lockdown had good bits and bad bits. Plenty of time for gaming. And taking things slowly. Binge watching favourite box sets. Not having to go to the hairdressers because it was shut and shut. Yeah, unless your mum had a go at quitting like mine did. We did notice, but it's going back now. Not not being able to see my grandparents or them was awful. I hate being stuck indoors at home and only going out for one hour a day for exercise. Me too. And all that hand washing. <sighs>
Yes, Karen, I know I said I'd get that report written by last Friday. No, I'm not taking advantage of the working from home arrangements. Yes, I realise this isn't a holiday. No, I won't watch Loose Women and forget. Yes, I promise. Goodbye, Karen. <coughs> Mum, this is a coordinating conjunction or coordinating conjunction. I think it's a coordinating, but I'm not sure. Coordinating what? In my day, it was just nouns and verbs. Let's have a look. Hi, Karen. Yes, of course, I'll spell check it. I understand that the directors will be reading it. No, it won't be full of grammatical mistakes like last time. Yes, Karen. No, Karen. You have a good day too, Karen. Now, a conjunction aid and submarine, say. It's all right, Mum. I've done it. Right. Um, now I've got some history to start. But it's my turn on the computer. It's not fair. Mum, tell him. Enough. What is all this noise? You know I'm working nights at the moment, so can you please just quiet down? Sorry, Dad, but he's hogging the computer, and I've got my maths to finish. Yeah, right, you told me to play games on it. Oi, stop! You eat your cereal, and you do your work. What exactly do you have to do? The long multiplication, I'm stuck on all of these. Mm. Let's see. Mm. What? That's not how we were taught when I was in school. Hmm. Put a nine there, a zero there, then add them all up. But why do Just you do it like that? You don't need to know. Now, can I go back to bed? Not yet. There's a message from your mother. Will you call her for a chat? She's bored being stuck at home. I talked. I talked to her for three hours yesterday through her kitchen window after I delivered her shopping. Can't you talk to her? No, she's your mother. Anyways, I've got that report to write for Karen and to supervise. Oi! Stop! What work would you both have left to do? Um, there's my history start and the science worksheet on electricity. And I've got art and RE. Okay. Electricity, you say? Well, you can plug in the hoover and clean upstairs. Also, there's a light that needs changing in the downstairs room. And art. Go in the back garden and paint the fence. Oh, yes, history. You can call your grandma and listen to her talking about the old days for an hour or two. Right, something for Ari. Let me think. Hello, Karen. Yes, I'm just about to. No, I'm not on the settee with my feet up. Oh, no, of course I'm not taking advantage of your good nature. It's just my children are. Yes, I understand. Bye, Karen. Ah, dear Father who art in heaven, take pity on me in my hour of need and deliver me from this torture. Amen. There you are. That shall be sorted. Right. I think I'll put my, hour, uh, my feet up for an hour and watch these women.
like watching how you set up Marvel characters, camera skeleton, battle, or super villain? Yeah, COVID heroes, unite and fight. That will make a great film. And with a single click, my master plan for world domination is now implemented. Mwah! My name is Iris, Iris the Virus. Yes, okay, it's not the greatest name for a supervillain, but there isn't much that rhymes with virus. I did consider Mona Corona, but that just sounds like a windy moth of beer, which isn't very or inspiring. The Big V was an option, but I figured people would think I was a second, second rate rapper, or was a more of a heavy metal fan. Louise the Disease, which was my mother's option. Well, the less you say about that, the better. So Iris or Iris it is, soon everyone will know my name and bow before me as I wreak havoc, bringing Earth's inhabitants to their knees. Mwah! They show bravery battling through hardship, loneliness and drastic change, going without comfort and remaining steadfast throughout. Lockdown certainly presented us with a few challenges, didn't it? All those rules and regulations would bring big changes to our lives. I found some instructions really confusing. And they were always changing. Shop had to shop, then they could open, then they had to shut again. We, told, we were told that we couldn't go to restaurants, then we were told that we couldn't we had to eat out to help out when we were told that we couldn't do that. We couldn't play sports, but then we could, but only outside. We couldn't go watch our favourite teams play, I couldn't keep up. And that whole thing about bubbles and tears, who you could see, where you could see them and how long. It must have been hard for the people to stand up week after week in front of the cameras and update the nation. True. Thank you everybody for joining us at today's COVID briefing. Now, as you are aware, the situation in regard to this virus remains serious. We understand the instructions we have previously given may have been unclear, leaving many of you unsure about what you need to do. However, while we wait for the next set of scientific findings, there are three things you need to do. Three things which have remained the same since the beginning of all this. Hand, space, space. Today we would really like to reinforce these, just so you're in no doubt. Firstly, wash your hands at every opportunity, as we know you can pick up the virus from infected surfaces. Secondly, keep a two metre distance from people when you leave your home for essential activity. And thirdly, wear a mask to lessen the risk of transmitting and contracting the virus through your breath. Now we have said these things before, but many of you still don't seem to understand. So, to shake things up a little bit, to make the message a little more funky and groovy, 
Next, in a socially distanced manner, of course, rock. It's the light at the end of this tunnel. What a, fast, what a fantastic job those scientists did to get it ready so quickly. I bet there were some celebrations that loud and didn't make through. I wish you'd been found the wall. Hello YouTube, Professor Hans here. Professor Hans Face in Space. We're having a party, we've done it. The final test results are back and ladies and gentlemen, we have an effective vaccine. Needless to say, we are very jolly. I want to say thank you to my colleague Pam, Pandemic, for all her help. I couldn't have done it without her. And now we must get back to the party. Oh,
times this year and one day in the future children will learn about our experience in their history lessons. And when this is properly over, maybe we'll notice that things have changed for the better. Maybe we'll all learn to appreciate what we have and not take anything for granted. And we'll make the most of the opportunities that we missed such a crazy has started. So all that's left to say as we leave building brains and open the next chapter to our life is here to the future. And finally being free to explore our possibilities. To imagine and realise all that we can be.